How's it going, everybody? Alf Riki here, back with another God of War video. I know, I know, it's becoming more of a series than a live stream thing. Okay, I understand. So lately, I have been doing a lot of side quests because I have been wanting to progress. For you. But now that I'm here with you guys, okay. So, the way for you. Last time we were in Midgard, up to the north. Now we're. Even out time. Where am I nervous? What happened? Bring these two animals back to Vanaheim. Go on Midgard, even. Specky and Spana could use the company. We have kennels. It would not go well for them. Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. Yes. It makes sense though. Alright. Here. Going back. Alright. So I have not done any story content since. Okay. Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. Uh. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. The inevitable asking of the dwarves. Hmm. Right. Excuse you. me, sir. <gasps> Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the Lindworms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say. say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Huh. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, Literally. I okay. dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Now, so, what else might there be to discuss? <laughs> They're all gone. <laughs> so, <clears throat> remember last time how I said, how how's the, how the, how, like, why is he gone? Turns out. You're back. <clears throat> They're back. Simmer down. I see them. <laughs> if I don't have it, you don't need it. Does this work? Please say yes. I'll disinfect my tools. Oh, that's right. And for the Valkyrie Queen? Need something? We are... I'll heat up the forge. Six.
All right, now. I have news. Who? Oh. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. <laughs> That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Where's it at? Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We oh, didn't shit. steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying. <laughs> Bye. So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. Oh shit. Allow harm to come to him. <laughs> I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We... Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos! I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. That's about to well, change. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Whew. Whew. That's a relief. <laughs> uh. <sighs> <laughs> Put it in here, bro. What are you doing? Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you'd come with us, dear. I know you mean well with us. <laughs> you're acting like a little, See you out like there. a big old wuss. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You I have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. 
What the? Shit, it's blocked. <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sentry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? <laughs> Most likely someone in neither Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for on account of being stupid. <laughs> I love that. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so calm. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. All right. Oh. Yeah. Sonic Boom. We may need to work together on this. One. There. We keep cooperating. Maybe someday it'll be Asgard in place. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Hmm, what is it saying? Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Uh... So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Well, I can see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. That's flammable. So, what does it do? Nothing? Oh. Yeah. Fortuitous oil spill. Yes. Perfect oil spill. Hmm. 
shooting up ahead. I give you one. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. <sighs> it's not his fault Atreus ran off here. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against God and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. Okay, especially since Tyr doesn't want to do it. Sick of that, I will upgrade it. These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far. <laughs> really not, bro. The sigil arrows should work with ice as well. The angle, Harry. It's open. Bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. 
It is easy for me, son. We'll need to get one of those gates open. Um. Oh, wait. Uh. Ah, you've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? I don't remember. Um, ah, there it is. this alliance you expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok that is tears job not mine it's plain to see tears no war god anymore nor am I I have left that life behind not killing gods you haven't or else what are we doing in this realm forging this weapon your choice you know where it might lead I am only protecting I my know. I know and we both know the places protecting your child can take you yeah. Um. Yep. And? Sigil arrows won't work on this. Okay, I got one more. Where is it? Now, where have they got the third one hidden away? <laughs> right. Careful! Those Grim are possessed by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them. <laughs> Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. 
I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with a disparity in size. Mm. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. <laughs> You're right. It's not for me to see. Ah, teamwork. Right. Left side, brother. Oh, fuck up. Two of them. Miss. And the Air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. Hold on, hold on. There's stuff around here. There's stuff here. Wait, please. I almost missed that. <laughs> I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something. <laughs> when we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon and to use it. Okay. 
Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, hey, you have fun now. Here before. Hey, you made it. About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Fuck you! Uh, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Real dog. Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. Mm. Uh. Better take out that net, or it'll be eyeball city out here. Yeah. These mutts. No wonder they shut the door. Oh, I thought they were good dogs. Right side, brother. I thought they were good, bro. Not even gonna lie. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Does he poop? Well, that ain't. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Okay. That ain't coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get Like that wheel up there opens the gate. Here. Mm. No grappling up there. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Drop than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right, now I can turn this plane to cap that guy. You just give me the signal. Talking about. Go. Oh. Now. On it. <laughs> Promising. Turn it. Copy that. Nothing else? Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Oh. Um. Turn it again. Aye, aye. 
Yeah. I don't think I was supposed to tell him the truth. Luckily, I was able to. <clears throat> well, I think he's seen us. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam pot. What get? Ready? <clears throat> oh, that's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. <clears throat> Bro, literally grab some of the, uh, like the sound of the air. Hang on. I smell trouble. You got a problem with that? Do something about it! Magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it, said a one cool. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got two bumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, <laughs> fuck you. Come on. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Okay. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Does it give them to every piece? But the one she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll fin you that tale. Huh? Hey's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. 
Apart from her taste in men, of course. <laughs> now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I pulled drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Mm. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that <clears throat> riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. Where is the forge? She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. simple. You're almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh. Hello? Hello? The fuck was that? 
years like they weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Bruh. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? That it means work. a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. Oh, what? shit. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Ooh. Let's go. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Can't let you take our new gal home. <laughs> 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 what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. Uh -huh. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on. Might have to get creative up ahead. Hey, man! Better 
Take out that nest, or it'll be Eyeball City. Oh, oh my god. Go! Ah! Go! Go! the more you take away. Ah, is it time? <sighs> because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. <sighs> Them eyeballs are taking over this ground. We better beat them out. <laughs> Oh my lord! Seeing no weak spots down here, but you keep looking. Oh, the fight right now. You're ready. Oh, oh shit. one of the cold children. <laughs> We're getting the trap. <laughs> scare you or anything. You did not. Right. You can bring that back to Ratatos group whenever you're ready. Okay. Ah, that's blocked. Ah, there we go. Hmm? Yep. A bit late for that. Got one last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. Yeah, these oh. ugly birds. Maybe those grim will take him down. Or not. Show me what you got. Oh, oh. Brother, that gun's trying to pass on high. Brother. 
I mean, what did that do? Nothing. Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Damaging the book. The elves in Freya's camp wish to read it. Brock never met no lock he couldn't lick. I'll get her open where it needs getting. Oh, Bloom descends her love. Bless her spotty heart. What the? <laughs> oh, is that the way down? Is now. And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Jeez, seriously. Everybody go. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, <clears throat> imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a, has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war. Do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands, I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. What is it about the spears? He's lying. I know. <laughs> I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free 
from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. <laughs> and what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy, boy don't say it, bro is in no rush to come back to you don't listen to him brother he's just trying to get in your head oh. superior bastard the nerve of him showing up here at least you rattled him as much as he rattled you Drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, the war. Oh, if that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Yeah. All right. Ready to fight. Not her mean! <laughs> you Enemy behind you, Kratos! <laughs> oh! Can't do this without you, Kratos. All right, getting out of here. Screw it. Screw it, man. Oh! 
Do this later. How did they reach this realm? Oh, they were well versed in realm travel. You see, Yari was raised a Midgardian warrior. Meant to fight in the family's wars. Find a wife. Die for glory. 
he rejected it. What? He followed his own path. I wouldn't be surprised if we found their mark in other realms as well. Ah, oh, four. Now I gotta click. Over here? No, right? Actually, this is pretty good. Oh, we had a fun time with this. Ooh. Hmm. So this drop near Spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his. Nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. Another Berserker gravestone. You know what to do, brother. Get the... Hey! Big guy! Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Guild, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. Yeah. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Yeah? You're... True. Ah. That's not even about... Choice, of course. Yeah, we'll do side quest stuff. What time is it? So fit. Okay, guys, <laughs> that's gonna conclude this episode of God of War. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I got shit to do, and I'll catch you guys next one. Africa is out. Peace.